Hi everyone. Hi, I'm here working at Weekly U Design, and it's late. Um, I got here yesterday, really late. Um, I don't know about eight something. Did start out early, but I ended up getting here like eight o'clock in the evening Wednesday, and I finally uh, working on some my stuff for the winter. I'm trying to do some hats. I'm doing some main things. I'm starting my new children line. I finished doing that at home in my uh, sewing studio at home. And I'm working on this. I'm doing my stripe line. Um, I don't know how many of these I'm going to do till I run out of yarn. I want to do everything striped with black. So black. This is pink. Pink and black. So I'm going to do a pink and black one. I know I'm going to do a yellow and black one. I think I'm gonna do a powder blue and black one. If I got some red over there, I'm gonna do a red and black one. So so far I know I'm going to do about five. I want to make some matching infinity scarves, but I'm not gonna make the infinity scarf that goes with them as a uh, yarn. I think I'm gonna make it out of some type of stretch knit to go with them. I know I have some uh, stretch. Uh, knit pink and white that I'm a uh, fabric that I'm gonna make one from for this one. Um, so I'm working on that. That I've been sitting here watching some stuff on YouTube and just crocheting this hat for a while. I just was taking my time because I did a lot of work earlier. I sewed together a lot of the children pants, some tops and stuff, and you know. So I had a productive day. My son started uh, his job tomorrow, so I had to go out and buy him some pants. He's 20, and his, uh, you know, second job, um, and he starts tomorrow, so he needed some black pants and some black shoes. So I was shopping around looking for black pants. I know you're wondering what I'm fidgeting with my jacket to get all get back on subject talking about my son, but back to uniquely you design. I've been I'm a I'm gonna stand up so you can see what I the jacket. It's still undone because I've been working on this jacket off and on for a while. It's a short jacket. Um, I think I'm gonna taper the sleeves in. It's, it's a plus size. I think I'm gonna taper the sleeves up a little bit more. And it has the lace. I'm gonna put some lace embellishment. I just pinned this lace to it, so you see, it's gonna be some lace. This lace gonna be sewn on it. And I was thinking about putting the pockets back on because this used to be a full left coat. I'm almost regretting that I did I took it down. I don't know. Let's think about put these pockets are too big now. I might have to make them smaller. Um, and put some pocket put some pockets back on it. Um, when it was a full length coat, so I might do that. The pockets back on it, cover it in lace. So this is I took the buttons off. So. That's this jacket. It's a little big on me. Let's see. It's all bulky looking because I get my jacket, my regular outfit that I wore today. So that's what I'm working on today. I'm going to take this one home. I took the other one home. I'm all messy. Sorry. Oh, ooh. I might have to do this over. So. Um, yeah, so I'm going to, I think I'm going to do this one over, because I'm looking a mess. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to take this off. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to take the jacket off, because this is like, and my hair is getting all tangled up and... <laughs> really, Chris? Okay, that's better, right? Because I was like looking a mess and I hate to be recording and I'm looking a mess but yeah so that's what I was doing working on that uh, I finished a swimsuit um, but I don't know if I show you guys my swimsuit my swimsuit that I was working on the bikini panties part and the bra. I didn't finish it. I'm still working on it. 
So it's going to have a lining inside of its modesty because it just would be it'll just be uh, too much nudity. So yeah, those are the cups. So that's what I'm working on that. And I have another one. This is actually fit for me. This is going to be a one piece swimsuit. But I ran out of this yarn and I don't know what I'm going to do. Really. I have no idea. These are the shorts part. I ran out of this brown yarn. And here is the cups. This is going to be really cute. Here's the shorts. If I can hold it up right, not look crazy. And this tie in the back, and this is going to be the little shorts. I'm trying to hold it up so you can see. Ugh, I'm retarded. But, oh well. But these are going to be the shorts. Whenever I finish, they're going to be much longer because they're really booty, booty, booty shorts part. And this is this part. They look kind of crazy. But you'll see when I finish it. You'll see. It's a whole swimsuit. My first time doing a swimsuit, I knew I could do it because I crochet a lot of stuff um, all the time. So I know how to do the bikini top. But that's what I'm working on. I don't know if I got anything else to show you. I've been showing you, like, did I, ever, I don't know if I showed you my children line completely. So let me introduce you to, I'm sorry for scratching, my children line. I know I've been pointing at it in the background. And um, the tutus. We're going to do another show. The tutus are really cute. Aren't they cute? I'm going to make these little funky labels that I had. I decided I want to make. So, so I'm not going to. I brought these labels for it. So, I don't know. I'm going to uh, redo the the labels for everything. And these are the little girl dresses. You got matching pants. This is the Play Chic collection. I thought I was going to have them with the Zunksters, but the Zunkster collection is more patchy, free spirited type. So this is more the Play Chic collection. With the ruffle pants. See the ruffles around the pants. They're really cute. I really like this. I mean, I really like this. So all of them don't have the ruffle pants around them. Some of them have... I need to take a pair of these pants home and dye them. Uh, a little spot on it. I don't know how it got on but... Uh, see, but all of them have the embroidery flower. I mean, nothing. Yeah, the applique flowers crochet. Here you can see that. And, but... Most of them have the lace on the leg, so not all of them. Uh, there is just variations of the styles of the pants and stuff as about ribbons, but this is it. It's so cute to me. I'm gonna make some little tops that go underneath of it, so they can, you know, you can wear it in the. I'm gonna have one. I'm gonna, I'm only gonna make one, so uh, when I have it displayed, that you can see that you can wear it in one time. So I got. Plenty of styles of dresses. Just pretty girly and cute. That's why I call it having my play chic collection. So yeah, I'm naming all my collections now. So I got the play chic collection and the purses go along with that. And I have uh um a lot of other names for each of my collections going to have names to them, but they're going to all be on a uniquely you design, but they're going to have different labels. Um, so, you know, that's what I'm working on. I don't know what I'm going to call my crochet clothing and stuff. I made a crochet dress, a long, a long crochet dress. It is so pretty. And I made this other crochet top. It started out as a dress, but I ran out of yarn and it ended up being like a, um, like a boosty top with a peplum, a flare pep, peplum bottom to it. And I'm going to make it with some skinny jeans, either some skinny jeans or leggings. You know, I don't know yet. I'm going to work that out. But yeah, I got some more. I got so much stuff that I'm doing my, you know, just my clothing line. So it's just insane what I'm doing. 
and I'm really excited because this is the first time I'm only presenting clothing. Usually I was presenting jewelry, the home accessories, the gift baskets, um, the all the all my accessories from the purses to the jewelry to the shoes to the scarves to just endless stuff. So I really want my focus to be on my clothing and marketing my clothing to ages. Really my clothing are from um, ages 40, the 40s, 50s, and 60s. I'm 41. So I really want to target my age group. You know, uh, maybe some 30s are float in there, but right now, you know, I'm more target to more of a uh, more sophisticated, well, I'm, I'm a more a uh, creative type of unique person, you know, so more somebody that's more avant-garde, uh, artsy, uh, just a creative type of dressing person, you know, that their clothing is, you know, um, an art form for them, because it's, it's all depending on what I'm wearing, you know, mood that, what mood that I am in determines what clothes that I'm going to wear, you know, and I'm feeling super girly and feminine, I'll have light ruffles and stuff like that on. If I feel really exotic, I'll have something form-fitting fitting on with, uh, with prints in it and stuff. So, you know, it just all depends on. So my clothes represent all the different characters, all my different characters. And a lot of people have those different personalities. Uh, and a lot of people that I have sold to, they have been in their 40s. Um, I think 50s, early 60s. So I'm going to stick to what I know, you know, and that's my target audience. So I'm going to stick to that. Um, I do make things for people in their 20s and stuff. As you see, I do make little girl clothing and stuff. But uh, that's, you know, the kid in me right there. And I do love children, a girly girl, you know. So that's what I'm going to be working on for now. And it's just constantly, I'm moving forward and you know, evolving and changing and trying to uh, keep a clear perspective though and kind of um, get my vision clear and know exactly what direction I'm going now. You know, instead of having a whole lot of stuff, it's just the clothes. It's just all about the clothes. And I work on something every single day. I bring in new ideas. I bring in new stuff to the table. So it's always something new with me. Um, even just doing something new with my uh, clothing. Like I'm doing something new with one of these dresses. I'm running short on time but I want to show you this dress that I'm working on. Well, it's already been worked. I'm just adding something else. Yesterday when I was here I'm adding this design to here. Underneath is hand painted like leopard print glitter. So I'm going to add this little funky little touch to her and add it here also. Just because I like it because it has to be different for me. It has to be, you know, part of my collection. Next time I talk to you guys, I read you off all the collection of clothing that I'm going to have and I'll introduce you to each line of clothing and the name uh, of the clothing that it's it will be called, but it's all still under Uniquely You Design, so I am a design company with different labels, clothing labels. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Look forward to hearing from you. I said look forward to hearing from you like I'm on the phone, but hey, look forward to seeing you guys, talking to you guys rather, next time. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.